Fred here and you're watching the Gear Obsession channel. What I have here for you today is the SOG Reactor. This is fairly new from SOG. I'd put this somewhere between small and medium size and it is definitely built for light use. If at any time you feel like you want to purchase this, I did provide a link to Amazon where it's selling right now for the unbelievable crazy price of $32. Here it is in all its glory, the SOG reactor coming in at a closed length of 3.8 inches weight is a very light weight 4.1 ounces and it does come with a pocket clip now to do a quick comparison here is the Leatherman wingman I'm comparing it to other multi tools in the same price range you can see it's a little bit smaller than the wingman maybe uh, uh, about the same width here is the Gerber suspension another multi tool within the same price range probably the same uh, audience it helps if I have the, <laughs> the right multi tool there for the comparison and you can see that the suspension is a lot beefier heavier uh, and uh, bigger in every dimension here's the SOG uh, power lock just to show you that so you can see that it is very small I noticed that in a lot of comments people uh, give this a down uh, review because they it, it comes smaller than they thought it was anyway this has 10 tools now you know how that goes they count every little uh, speck of dirt on it as a tool but we'll go ahead and run through this the main and most important thing of course with multi tools is the uh, knife and it has a little lock that you click so this is lock this is fire and it is assisted opening there's your blade looks like a modified drop point clip point I don't know I guess whatever uh, you can see it has a black hard case finish it is a fine edge you have some decorative jimping thumb stud only on one side because you can't put it on the other side because it's attached to the multi tool you can see it has a liner lock in there the blade is, according to the box, 8CR13 MOV with a Rockwell hardness of somewhere between 55 and 58. Thank you for being very specific there. I didn't show you the box. Uh, I should just go ahead and show you that really quick. There is the back. There is the front. If your box comes like this, then uh, don't buy it because <laughs> someone took the knife out of it. Next thing is, go ahead and close this up. You have a clip right there that no, doesn't count as one of the tools. Here we go. That's the next most important thing with a lot of multi tools is the plier head. So you got your long nose pliers, you got your nut driver that they always tell you is a separate tool, and you got your wire cutter right in there. On the back here, you can put something in there like a wire and crimp it. So they're considering that a crimping tool back there. Um, you have your holder of your screw, your flathead and um, Phillips driver, which sort of just sort of stows in here. You don't use this to actually screw. I'll show you how that works here in a moment. What else do we have? We have a, where is it? There it is. The bottle opener right there. And I think that is really it. Oh, they count the lanyard hole. Where is the lanyard hole on this thing? Oh, okay, there it is. Right there, there's the lanyard hole. It doesn't... I guess the lanyard hole is part of the <laughs> bottle opener. Alright, so I think that really is about it as far as all the different things. So anyway, I went ahead and took a close look at this. And there are a lot of things I really don't like about it. First, let me sh demonstrate how this thing screws. What you do is you take the driver bit out of its stowed position, pull it out like that, and you see the tool's closed. You sort of stick it right in here. You might have to just open it up a little bit. And we'll go ahead and put that in there. And 
there you go and you actually screw with it in here see it it holds in okay but you gotta maintain a grip on it for it not to turn see if I loosen my grip I could turn the bit so you gotta maintain a grip on this to keep hold of the bit so I have a screw that I screwed in here and you can see if I let loose it's not gonna do it you have to keep a grip on it so that's kinda awkward to me because as soon as I let go loose on my grip you know whatever not a very good design I wouldn't want to screw a lot of different things with this huh look at that the thing actually failed the magnet there's a magnet that um, came out of one of the things <laughs> wow okay so we have something fail there that kind of sucks what else we'll go ahead also in the reviews a lot of people said that this little springy thing that holds this in the stove position here um, eventually loosens, loosens up and you can lose your bit and it doesn't stop there <laughs> it doesn't stop there let's take a look at this knife a lot of reviews people complained that the assisted opening does eventually fail quickly a lot of complaints about that but lock up it's kind of some play up and down and look where the lockup is there's no room to wear it is all the way over as a matter of fact it's so far over it's already beyond the back of the blade so only half of this really thin liner lock is behind the blade that's kinda crappy that's really kinda crappy go ahead and uh, lock that up so um <laughs> I don't know what to say. This really, I, I might return this because this magnet coming out is pretty crummy. Anyway, for the price range, you can do a lot better. I would, you know, if you're looking for a knife that has a clip on it or a multi blade that has a clip on it, I would recommend the Leatherman uh, Wingman right there you can see it's just a little bit bigger but you get a, a lot more tools and way better build quality you know than this piece of crap but I think this only costs like a dollar more way better it is heavier I'll give it that but that's probably the only negative thing oh I forgot to point out on the on this guy the head does have one neat feature it does have a two to one um, ratio so it really does you know it could put a lot of pounds of pressure down here because it has two to one it's geared just like the power lock by SOG which is a way better tool you can see it has the gears way better so that that's the one plus to this whole thing but I think that's really about it other than that this thing is a total fail this really is a total fail anyway again compared to the Leatherman Wingman to the Gerber suspension there it is in size to the quarter here it is compared to a can of spotted dick there you go comparison there so you're not coming out of this video with a total fail I went ahead and provided a link also in the description box below a link to the Leatherman Wingman which I recommend as a direct replacement and better choice over this piece of crap it's a fail I'm gonna put that in the description right up front up there fail <laughs> piece of crap all right I hope uh, I saved you all some money I don't always do positive reviews I gotta point out the absolute crap out there too so you don't make the same mistake right all right well thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel I really do appreciate every friend viewer subscriber especially you and I hope you have a great day reading. Take care. Bye.